to Dutch with No TV and today we have the pleasure of interviewing TK. Well, Spin's not here today, so no. we've just got TK today. So we're here at Studio 68 and I'd just like to say thank you very much. Thank you. For letting us have come along and, and speak to you and just learn a little bit about your journey. So thank you guys for coming to see us. <laughs> yeah. So should we just start off first of all by just asking how you came about getting this place and this amazing this studio, Studio 68 here in London? Um, the idea actually started 11 years ago um, and we were like a community group like anybody else um, started building up very very slowly going into the um, youth halls, even bar rehearsals, just anywhere that you could actually stick in and, and actually dance. Um, we were lucky enough to start getting well known due to um, how good we were doing the training. Um, we actually took a lot of uh, dancers that were very young, people from all over the world, and very slowly got that really good reputation, got us to work for Sony Music Entertainment, uh, artist development. Um, we got offered some money, we, we, we invested that money into what we wanted to do. Uh, went to the States for three years to get better training. So hold on a minute, how did you and T, how did TK and Speed even meet? Um, we, I was actually working in Sony Music and I was looking for dancers for, for a job uh, with the girls um, from, uh, for Big Brother and the 411 at that time and I actually needed guys and I went to a master class and met him there oh, and okay. yeah and that's how old was it? that was back in 2003 yeah. okay. okay wow yeah that's well it's 10 now but we started a little bit before like we, we kind of knew each other back in 2002 and then the idea of the studio 11 years ago so yeah Okay. Pretty fun and pretty hard working, like there's a lot of stuff yeah. behind it. Sure. Yeah. I mean, you haven't been on these actual premises for that long, have you? I think before that you were at Huskies. That's right, yeah. yeah. We were at Huskies for seven and a half years. And that's that's why I remember you. Yeah. And it was a TK spin I remember yeah, yeah. Huskies. We actually were there for seven and a half years just because um, we were trying to get our own rep even reputation bigger, get some more money together, organizing workshops. Uh, doing events for the dance community yeah. and that's how we actually started building up and we actually rented the premises for seven and a half years and actually wow. people thought it was our building. Okay. They thought it was our dance studio. Yeah, it's like your home. Because we were there 24-7, that's right. why. So TK, tell me what's been like the biggest challenge you've had? Like, the biggest challenge, well this place was actually just uh, an arch. There was no water, there was okay. no electricity. The train. Yeah, oh, and then it, yeah. yeah the, the noise was tremendous, it was dusty, we had to go through building control and health and safety and this down the other. So this was very tricky because um, we, the builders let us down when we first started, we paid all our money and they actually ran off with the money. Um, oh yeah, it was it was a job and a half and this place actually took three months to build. So okay. it was a big, big, big job. But I was here day and night. Bless Spin, he was actually on tour at that time and he was in here for the building. <laughs> ah, it's okay. Can you hear the train? Okay. That's, that's part of the essence of Spin. It is. It's yeah, it's very underground. It's very, it's very so how, pure. How many studios have you actually got here? Um, there's two studios. One yeah. is the LA studio, which is 60 meters by okay. seven and a half. And then we've got another one upstairs that's very private where the celebrities go. They love it up there because it's very quiet and they can go through the car park at the back. Okay. It's pretty big as well. I think it's a really good size for about 10 15 dancers. So, so what made you want to go from obviously renting and not having that liability of running your own studios to all of a sudden now wanting your own studios and having the Studio 68? Well, the thing is that I think the industry and dancers and choreographers are not being considered properly. They're not being taken care of, they're not being paid properly, they don't appreciate the yeah. art and the training they've done over the years. And Studio 68 is an idea to actually give the dance community in the UK a place where you can feel like home and somewhere where people appreciate your work and you get paid properly yeah. and you've got a job every week and you can pay your bills and you know and it's actually a platform for people to be seen. A lot of choreographers in here because they're at Studio 68 have actually got jobs abroad and they actually left to get the dreams come true which is brilliant, that's what we really want. Well, we're going to have some like dance players or budding dance players watching this, and then right. we have an idea of having a studio, maybe somewhere in I don't know, wherever they live, North England or something. Right. What advice would you give someone maybe wanting to rent out space or own a studio? I think what you're going to do is think properly, think ahead. Mm -hmm. So just think about the moment. 
yeah. uh, try and innovate, try and be one step ahead of the game. Yeah. Um, save as much money as you can because this is not cheap. Because yeah. this is a private investment, there's no sponsors. Right. So if you want to get an investor on it, I would not do it. I would not let anybody invest in my business just because I think it's very important to do what you want to do the way you want to do it. Yeah. It's harder, mm -hmm. but I recommend anybody that's doing something not to get somebody that they don't know into the business. So you keep control of it. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Otherwise it gets out of control. Mm -hmm. I would not recommend it. So how it much work does it take to actually run the studio? Um, I'm here <laughs> sometimes from 9 in the morning to 12, 1 o'clock at night. Mm -hmm. And even yeah. when there's late rehearsals or choreographing sections, I'm here it's overnight. Busy. Yeah. So, but it doesn't feel like work. No. I mean, anybody that love. loves dance and loves yeah. the arts can understand that. Yeah. This is not a job for us. This is love. It's your yeah. passion, right? Isn't it? So, you know, as much as people think, oh, you know, it's a lot of hours. If you don't want to do hours, don't do this business. Because mm. yeah. sometimes it's not even about the money. It's, yeah. it's about what you love and feel happy about it. Do you find there's some challenges working with somebody else? You've got your partner. Oh, yeah. Husband, so. Yeah, I mean, it's been and I have completely different visions. I'm very okay. business wise, I'm very into the marketing, the image of the studio, and he's very artistic. Okay. So, you know, sometimes there's things that he wants to do that I might not see that it were the right thing, but you have right. to compromise on things. Yes. You know, and if he's got that vision, I mean, he's somebody that's worked for West End, Headspray, and these, down the other. So, I. I can't really doubt on what he's good at doing and I think everybody's got their strength so even yeah. though you find it hard and you're going to battle every day and yeah. you're not agreeing on something and you have tremendous arguments about things, I think you just need to, okay, it's okay, it's going to be fine mm -hmm. and you know, just get on with it, yeah. give each other space, yeah. so if you have a partner just give each other space. <laughs> yeah. So what would you say should be, has been like your biggest success story in your career so far? Uh, my biggest thing, I've got, a, I've got a lot of them. I actually been very privileged because I've, I've worked with tremendous artists. I mean, I've worked three I've years. I've noticed on your board got some yeah. great photographs. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this, this guy, yeah, but these, <laughs> these guys are just like, you know, celebrities, choreographers that yeah. come to the studio. I haven't really worked with them. So okay. like, that's, not really an yeah, there's not, that's not really an achievement for me. I mean, it's an achievement because they want to use our facilities mm, yes. and they believe in what we do and they just think they love this place. Every time they come to the UK, they actually come and see us because yeah. they think it's very private, it's very mm. homey. But biggest achievements, you know, just dancing with big artists. Um, yeah. For three years, I choreographed for Big Brother, the 411, the Sirai Jamiro Kwe. This was obviously years ago. Yeah. That's what tells you my age a little bit. But, um, and then, you know, choreograph and teach all around the world. I've been everywhere. Like, I've, I've taught in LA, I've taught in Spain, in Germany. I've been everywhere, so I can't really complain. Yeah. And apart from doing, you know, the management and building up something for the UK, I'm, I'm still doing my other stuff. I'm actually going to the States for three months now. That's cool. So, yeah. yeah. So where do you see, like, Studio 68 TK Spring going in the next for five years or so? You no, know I don't know if I should actually say because... Okay, the secret. <laughs> the thing is that maybe people take our ideas, so... Oh, maybe Spring's okay. got another vision. <laughs> There's a lot of rumours and it's because obviously we talk between ourselves and people listen and okay. this is just the beginning of 68. Okay. I'm not going to say anything. So just watch this space. Wow. So obviously 2K or tomorrow. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, tomorrow any, any. Um, you want to see Rachel Studios out? So if there's anyone which are looking to rent your studios out, where yep. can they go to find more information? Um, if you guys want to find out anything else about Studio 68, just go to www.studio68london.com and just make sure you give us a shout, any questions on classes, the studio hire. And just remember, we don't only do dance, we also do photography, we do castings, we do oh, web design, yeah. we do media, music videos. So just give us a shout, we'll be ready. Right there to help you. Fantastic. Well, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank yeah. you guys. So thank much. You. Thank, you. thank you. Wish you all the best in your future business. Thank you. Okay, thank you. This See is just the beginning. Bye. Bye.